I've been sort of planning to make another ornament video and it's it's been taking me a while because I keep remaking the same one over and over and over and over again for bows for the three four five I you know I've lost count of how many exotic bows there are at this point but I'm pretty sure there's Tiku's wishing the La, la butterfly fucking the force hammer and a bike chain um i'm sorry it's been a long day so it's gonna it, this is gonna be a weird video okay i promise you um so the, yeah five there's five of them and i had planned doing ornaments over them but I keep going over and over and over them because I keep remembering that some of them got taken away and some of them got vaulted. But I found that in the triumphs part, uh, in your collections, if you go to, which I, you know I'm going to look like an idiot, but if you if you go to exotic and you go to patterns and then you go to bows, you can actually see the old ones that were available for us. And yeah, I I didn't really so anyway that'll be a video for another time but today i wanted to talk about a pulse rifle that's making news again which is the one of the oldest weapons and that is bad juju and bad juju is a 450 rpm uh pulse rifle that got um which um hide the fucking menu please i i it won't let me hide the fucking menu which is a 450 RPM pulse rifle and 450 RPMs got buffed. Which means things like Outbreak Perfected and Bad Juju and other 450 RPM legendaries are actually really good now. And I have been using, if you haven't seen already, been using Bad Juju in Crucible. And it's amazing. Ah, uh, don't get me wrong. And... So what Bad Juju is, is, what Bad Juju does is it comes with a Incedric trait called String of Curses, which when you kill, it refills the magazine, it also increases damage for a short duration, and that's just two of them, and the third one being the best one gives you full super energy based on the strength of String of Curses, and fires a full auto, of course. And if you get the catalyst, which I'm glad that I'm working on now, uh, gives you a, a extended duration of string of curses, which is cool. But we're not here to talk about all of that stuff. I just wanted to get over what it is, and I wanted to go over what its ornaments are. And so far, it has three. As far as I know, there isn't another uh, ornament for uh bad juju that i can think of off the top of my head i can only see in my arsenal i can only see whoa what's that one well anyway i can only see beast magic and if i'm correct it looks like my clan just finished the fucking raid <laughs> um uh, yeah and, uh, is the, so there is only three I have brought one, but I don't like it because the default ornament is probably the best looking one because of the whole green f smoke or eyes uh, flames that come out the um, eyes of the bird thing here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a Ahamkara. I don't know. But anyway, uh, let's talk about the default ornament. If I can again hide the menu. The default ornament. Let me get... Let me quickly get out... Um, Shut up! Why does everyone interrupt me every time I make these? But anyway, the default ornament. You remember as I was saying, can you please shut up? Please. Please. Alright, thank you. So the default ornament for um, Bad Juju is this one, which gives it a nice cool sight. And uh, also, cool, as I said, it gives you that green flame that comes off, or green smoke. I don't know what you want to call it. And... It's really good. I like it. Um, I do like. I really do like the um the the bones sort of going on with it. I really do like it. 
Um, but I don't really know why you would want to attach a bird skull to your front of your weapon, but then again, this is a weapon from early Destiny 2, so, uh, I'm not gonna shit on it. It's, it's an amazing pulse rifle, and, yeah, um, I give the default one, like, an easy 9.5 out of 10. I'd give it a 10 if, like, um... Like, the, the, this sort of sight maybe was just up a bit higher. I don't know why. I think for some reason it's just a bit low. Because those little pieces get in my sight. But other than that, it, it looks great to me. Um, anyway, let's get on with the second one. Now, the second one is what I have brought for it. And that is called Beast Magic. What Beast Magic does is adds a giant skull to the front of it. I don't know what that's supposed to be referencing. But what, as I said, what I really like about this one is it lifts the sight up a bit. And you can see that when you aim down sights. You can you get a nice clear sight. But you lose that cool smoke effect and it makes it kind of meh, you know. But I really like the red and the black with it. It looks really cool. Um... And I, I, it actually changes compared to the default one. It actually changes the like side pieces here and um, all of that. And I don't know if that's supposed to be what that's supposed to be, but it just reminds me of like something you would find on the front of a ship, which makes it slightly off-putting. <laughs> but um, I like it, and I give this one a, 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 a nine out of ten. And finally, the last one is called, if I am correct in saying, it is Aurelian something or other, Aurelian Decree. Aurelian Decree is the one that I don't like the most. One, I don't like gold weapons. I think gold weapons and shit look stupid. You know, people, oh, look at me with my big ass golden AK. You know, I really fucking hate those things. They're stupid. I know what this is supposed to be based on because this gun came out around the season of Opulent, which, you know, the Opulent, the purple badges and all of that stuff. Um, and I don't have this one, and I should have this one, but I don't. Um, all it really does to this is make it gold, slightly changes the um, the rail at the top, doesn't change the sight, all of that stuff. All it really, as I said, all it does is change the thing to gold, adds the purple orpulent looking things, and that's about it. However... It's nice, I, I, but as I said, not a big fan of your stupid big gold weapons, you know, since they're meant to be better. Like, Far Cry 2, for example. Does anyone remember finding the golden AKs? And they didn't have the buttstock, which I think if you take the buttstock off something, you should be shot. But anyway, um, they didn't have the buttstock and they were just a, a full-on golden AK and it lasted longer than the standard AK and everyone talked about them back when Far Cry 2 oh yeah have you got the golden AK yet yes I managed to get four of them I don't know why I got four of them I only needed one but it's it's one of those weapons you can't repair them and you can't do all this thing to it it just dies that's what this reminds me of. Am I going to use this and it's just going to break apart and the barrel's going to fly off I don't know but anyway I give this one like a six and a half out of ten. I, as said, not a big fan of gold weapons, but I know people are going to probably get shitty at me for saying that. But anyway, that is bad juju. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one, which will most probably be the Bose one. Bye bye.